Shabbat Shalom. This week's Torah portion is called Parshas Kitisa. It's also Parshas Para. When we read about the Para Aduma, the red heifer, and it's part of the different parshiot that we read in preparation for the holiday of Passover. One of the special uh, uh, episodes in this week's Torah portion is about God giving Moses the Ten Commandments, about the Jewish people uh, 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 in panic, thinking that Moses had died in heaven, worshipping the golden calf, and then Moses receiving the second set of tablets, bringing the Jewish people even to a higher level, the tikkun, the fixing of the flaws from, the, from what happened with the sin of the golden calf. Okay, in that procedure of Moses begging God to forgive the Jewish people, Moses sees this in Atrot, Son of the Time of Goodwill, and he begins to ask God questions. He says to God, let me see your face. Let me see, to understand how you run the world. Let me see what will happen to the righteous in the world to come. And God answers him the words like this. He says, Le'isa es achurai upanai lo yiro. That you will be able to see my back, but my face you won't be able to see. Okay, what does it mean to be able to see God's back? Right. Many of the commentaries say Rabbi Shimon Shmuel Hirsch beautifully affected my life so much. He said that, that that we can see God's back when we look into our past. We can see God's hand in every aspect of our lives, okay, and and that we can see God's greatness by Hashkacha Pratit, divine providence, and that gives us faith to move forward. And the Rebbe actually says we can see that in the verse. The verse says at the Acharai lo at the Acharai to at the Acharai you will see my back the Ed Panai. You will be able to see my back, and the verse says, and my face. And then it adds the words, and my face, Lord, to her. What do we have to say, and the face at all? It already said, you can only see my back. Why do you have to say, and my face, you won't see? Because the words are inferring, you'll see my back and my face. You'll be able to see God's face by looking back, by applying what we've learned in the past, by saying every aspect of my life was touched by God when I apply that same truth to the future, that everything that's happening to me now, that's God involved in my life, that means I can see God's face when we apply it to our own lives. Shabbat Shalom.